if in case you guys uh, haven't really been around for whenever we do am i the asshole posts we're going to be reading the um, the title and based off the title it's to judge if they are the asshole or if they are not and then we read the story and see if you're right or wrong. Am I the asshole for using fear to get a child to sit still for a haircut? Uh, I would say no. My initial reaction is no. Hello, I cut hair for a living. And this happened a few years ago, but it pops into my head from time to time. My colleague was cutting a young child's hair. And our rule in the shop is if they start to cry, we will stop. Mainly for health and safety as a young child is unpredictable. And us using sharp equipment can be dangerous. It's valid. Valid. We'll carry on if they stop and we will wait for them to calm down. Children crying for their first haircut is very common. But to the story. Okay. Colleague about to start cutting a young child's hair. Lo and behold, they start crying. And proper screaming crying. The dad takes them away, starts talking to them quietly. At this point, I'm not cutting anyone's hair. I'm sitting down near the till. I notice he points to me and says something to the child. Bear in mind, I am a heavily tattooed huge beard. Bald and tattoos all over my head. Some would say I am not approachable. I notice him and I notice him then say he will come and get you. He then also says to me, can you say I'll get you child's name? Which comes to am I the asshole? I refused. I was not going to make a child who was clearly already scared or anxious, etc. Now associate getting their hair cut with a scary man that may come and get them. I said, no, I'm not doing that. And the dad tried to push more. But again, I refused and got up and went to the staff room. The child did eventually calm down without the fear of me and did get a haircut. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. <laughs> okay, this one is, am I the asshole for not siding with my wife and agreeing with my mother after she did a group punishment that made my middle child unliked by the other kids? What? I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say no. But even. Edit. Jamie has been evacuated and nothing. Also, even if he did have something, I still think it would be fair game with what my mom did. Oh man, that's. You put it at the top. <laughs> I don't know what the context is, but already. Okay, let's see how it goes. Oh, evacuation. <laughs> my mother babysit almost all the grandkids three times a week in the summer. I am very grateful she does this and it saves us a ton of money. In total, she watches about seven kids and one of those kids is my middle son, Jamie. Jamie is a lot sometimes. He is eight years old and compared to his younger sister, he is less behaved. My mother has talked to my wife and I multiple times about him. She has done recommended timeouts. Overall, he doesn't behave much better after them. We have both talked to him about it, but no improvement. This is the issue. My mom was going to take all the kids to the pool with my dad. Jamie would not stop goofing around, running around, grabbing the other kids' pool stuff, and in general being loud and annoying. My mom told him if he didn't stop, then no one would be going to the pool. He didn't stop, and she'd hold true to her word. The rest of the day, all the kids were mad at him. I picked them both up, and she informed me above what happened. Mom told me he behaved the rest of the day after that. Jamie was very upset about no one liking him. The kids basically ignored him. Even my youngest was pissed off at him. My mother told me that he needs to learn his actions affect other people, and I agree with her. I am 100% fine with her using social dynamics to get him to behave. It also seemed to work. She plans to take the kids to the pool on Friday. I told my wife what happened and she is pissed that my other did this. We had an argument and she thinks I am a huge jerk for agreeing with my mom. This one gave me, I don't know, um, no, why is the mom getting mad? It's not like one of those boy mom situations, is it? The grandma was, I feel like grandma was in the right. I support teen punishment uh, to an extent, to an extent. Oh yeah, I mean, it, I think it was a pretty good lesson and he was able to finally think about how his actions do have consequences, right? It sucks for everyone in the moment, but the lesson is learned and life goes on. Very true. Wholeheartedly agree. I don't agree with punishing a true family like that. Alright, this one is, am I the asshole for telling my dad he's not allowed to give his speech at my wedding? Um, no? I'm gonna say no. <laughs> That's, I don't know, the way that I said no, I would say yes. Yeah. I don't know, hmm. I don't know, I feel a little bad already saying that. <laughs> My fiancé and I, both 20s, are getting married in a month, and there's a dispute with my dad now, and he claims I'm being unfair, and I wanted to get some thoughts on it. So dad decided he was going to give a speech at the wedding without saying anything first. Whoa! He had shared the contents of said speech with my sister, my aunt, and she knew the speech would not sit well with me and mention his plan to me. Ooh. So in this speech, he already wrote, he talks a lot about how his wife is the love of his life, how amazing she is, etc. It's very similar to the speech he gave at their vow renewal 10 years ago. 
He hasn't shied away from expressing in front of me and to me that he never loved anyone like he loved his wife, how all his past relationships pale in comparison. And that includes my mom, who was his first wife, who left him widowed with an eight-year-old son at the time. Whoa. What? <laughs> what? To make it even more difficult to hear. The vow renewal was held on my 18th birthday. And I got to celebrate my birthday by hearing dad talk about how mom meant nothing because his second wife is so much better. Oh my god. They were married eight years at the time. But a lot of family and friends didn't attend their actual wedding and they decided they'd basically have a second one to celebrate. And they decided my birthday was the perfect time to do this. Oh my god. Oh my god, what? Anyway, the speech he wrote for my wedding had a lot of this content from what my aunt heard from my dad and read herself. She knew on my wedding day the last thing I needed to hear was how much he adores his wife when he does so in a way that basically said my mom meant nothing to him. I told him I knew about the speech. He said she means the world to us. Why would I say that? I told him she means the world to him. But she pales in comparison to my mom who meant the world to me and still does. Yes. I told him he might have decided mom meant nothing, but that didn't mean I shared his feelings. He accused me of being sensitive. Oh my god. Oh, it's his wedding. Of being sensitive and then said it seemed like I didn't care about his wife at all. And then he said she was a good mom to me for the eight years she raised me. What the? What the? What the? I told him she was never anything more than his wife. Who? Yeah. My mom died when I was eight and I didn't get a new one. And the last thing I need to hear is how little she meant on my wedding day. Dad told me to be reasonable and the parents of the bride and groom typically say something. I told him nothing he had to say had a place at my wedding. Damn. That this is mine and my fiance's wedding, not his. I told him to get married again if all he wants to do is praise his wife, but it was not happening at mine. Damn. He told me to stop acting like a little boy and grow up. I left. Then his wife called crying about the fight dad and I had, which led to dad calling me again and telling me to grow up again. What the f I think you need to drop your dad, dude. This is crazy. What a dad. Oh my god. What a dad. That's so weird. I mean, yeah, you can talk about how much you love your wife, but yeah, I, there, th that, the way, that way, no. I'd talk to the wife and explain the situation. I'd be more mortified if I was her and tell him to not mention me at all. But if she's a narcissist, which would account for the dad's irrational need to praise her. Oh, god damn. Also, why is there mention of your mother and why they keep stealing the attention from your celebration days? Yeah, that is weird. Like, I can see a world where you praise your wife whilst making a point about the current wedding and how important things are, etc. But to come right out and say the previous wife meant so little is insulting, especially if it's OP's mom. She knows she was crying down the phone at me because I didn't want to want dad to give the speech. Wow! <laughs> no. Oh, that's weird. Maybe you should uninvite your dad from the wedding and your the wife. Yeah, and your wife while you're at it. Yeah, it's just like. Doing your wedding vows on your son's 18th birthday too is sus. To have him do a speech like this on his birth or on his wedding, that's like, mm, yeah, not the asshole. Dad is a dick though. What the? F <laughs> Am I the asshole for not returning a hundred dollar bill gift given to my daughter? Yes, yes. Seven year old's birthday party invite invite said no gifts, but a few people brought wrapped presents. When the last parents, fake names, Joe and Sue, arrived, my daughter asked if they brought a gift. Sue saw the other gifts and looked clearly embarrassed for not having brought one and said she thought the invite said no gifts. Valid. We were standing in front of the other parents who had just given the gifts, so I didn't make a big deal about it. And I said something like, no, no, you're right. We didn't ask for anything. She's spoiled enough as is. Ha ha. Unbeknownst to me, Sue quickly made a card and added it to a gift pile. After cake, Joe and Sue's son ran up in front of everyone and asked my daughter to open the card. We had not planned on opening gifts at the party. My daughter pulled out a hundred dollar bill and everyone gasped, basically, and of course my daughter was elated, followed by my daughter opening the other very small inexpensive presents. Oh my god. Joe seemed upset and withdrawn the rest of the party, and Sue acted like this was a completely normal gift. 
My partner had none of this context. So later when I told my partner how this all transpired, they were upset we may have done the wrong thing by not returning the gift because Joe and Sue clearly felt guilted into it. Am I the asshole? I feel like you should have given it back. Not the asshole? I mean, well, I guess it does make it a little complicated because it was opened in front of the whole, like, everybody. One of two things happened. They, for some reason, didn't tell the daughter about the no gift policy. Or they did, but she's trying to get gifts out of them anyway. I think they should have asked to give it back and pay them back out of pocket so the daughter keeps the money. It was awkward. Like, that is, that is, $100 is a lot for a seven-year-old. Yeah. He should have given it back and he should have, like, made his daughter know that wasn't, that wasn't okay to do. Makes it a little tricky if she ends up opening it in front of everybody, too. I don't know. If I was, like, the mom, I would have been, like, I would, like, if I was the mom, I would have given it back. Like, I would have totally given it back. Nah, if you can't give a hundred, then don't. If, uh, if it's seven, just make the card and give her one free trip to ice cream or subject. That's true. That's true. Nah, my kid keeping that. <laughs> This is, am I the asshole? Nurses wrote on the back of my car, got mad at them. I'm gonna say no. All right, let's see. This is a little hard to explain, but my dad is in the hospital, not in good shape. The parking garage is right next to a big college. I do go to the school and I am male 19. I assume a lot of college students might use the parking garage to park because there is no parking downtown. I exit my car and start walking towards the hospital, but I forgot halfway through about the clothes I was supposed to bring to my dad. I head back and I see two girls in scrubs riding on the back of my car with their fingers through the dust on the back windshield. They wrote, this is not student parking. We have been watching you. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> not the asshole. <laughs> and at that moment, you knew who was the asshole. <laughs> they were amidst uh, drawing a huge ass creepy smiley face. I'm super confused why they are touching my car and I ask them what you are doing. They begin to scold me and tell me they were calling a tow truck without even me explaining myself. I was pretty mad and I cut her off saying something along the lines of mind your own business. My dad's in the hospital. Oh, <laughs> she does not apologize and I guess does not believe me. Just stood there. She then thought I was leaving as I got into my car to grab the laundry and started guilting me that people are dying in the hospital and I'm taking up parking spots. What the f***? Keep in mind, this parking garage is empty. There are about 50-ish spots still open. Lol. <laughs> I grabbed the laundry and said, I am bringing this to my dad. Can you shut the up and if my car gets towed i'm getting you fired they were probably around 20 and assuming they are interning here one of them started crying still did not apologize i think they were panicked trying to call off a tow truck and i just walked away i just don't know if i was an asshole because they are nurses and working in a hospital must suck and they were trying to do a good thing i guess i had a ang pretty angry tone when i said all of that and i feel a little bad now that i made her cry do you think my reaction was justified um it was justified. I understand the frustration of that and they're like a young kid, but you truly, you truly don't know what somebody is going through. And they were walking back to their car. Where were they walking towards? Like, is the college and the hospital in the same direction walking inside or something? What the heck? Oh my god, no. I don't think they're the asshole. That poor kid. I don't care if the nurse is crying. Shouldn't have been a dick. <laughs> Probably should have asked first, even though I'm sure it's like one of those where it's like people lie all the time and stuff, you know? But, God, who knows? All right, this one is, am I the asshole for telling my sister-in-law it's not my job to step in and parent my niece and step-niece? I'm going to say, I don't know, what is my initial? My initial reaction is no, but I feel like it. it's like, to an extent. Because there are some times when like, I don't know, but I, by initial reaction, I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no. Let's see if I was wrong. My brother and sister-in-law have been married for eight years now. Both brought a daughter each into the marriage. My brother brought May, 16, into the marriage, and sister-in-law brought Ava, 15, into the marriage. The girls have never, ever liked each other or gotten along. Everyone knows that two would rather do anything than spend time with each other. We have all been around when they fight. We have all heard them say mean and cruel things to each other. They're both as bad as each other. It stems from jealousy. May doesn't like sharing her dad when she already lost her mom. Ava is jealous that May has a dad when her bio dad walked out on her and she's insecure about May being my brother's bio daughter even though she calls him dad and he calls her his daughter too. This makes May more jealous of sharing her dad. Eric, all of the long, like, all of the drama out on their damn. That feels so, like, damn, okay. We were always told not to get involved when the girls are being mean to each other. 
Three weeks ago, my mother threw a party to celebrate a very big promotion at work. He invited friends, family, and people from work. At one point, he gave a small speech, toast, and he mentioned his amazing daughter, May, but he didn't mention Ava. Oh. The girls have been fighting already during the party, and when her dad said that, May taunted Ava at- Oh, God. May taunted Ava that she's not really my brother's kid, and no dad would ever want her. Ava was distraught. What the f- <laughs> What the f- When sister-in-law found out about it, she went crazy. Honestly, a little valid, though. Then, when she found out I overheard, she told me I should have stepped in and tore May a new one for talking to Ava like that and destroying her heart. I pointed out she and my brother always made it clear we shouldn't get involved. She said something like that is different. I asked her if the time Ava told May her mom didn't love her was enough to fight can- I asked her if the time Ava told May her mom didn't love her enough to fight cancer to be with her, if that was different and I should have thrown Ava a new one for that. Or <laughs> evil. evil. Holy sh- What the f- Sister-in-law said it was very different and no- What the f- What are you doing? Oh my god. Sister-in-law said it was very different. And no, I shouldn't speak to Ava that way, but I should speak to May that way. What do you mean? She said Ava didn't deserve it. Then she told me I'm the worst kind of adult when I can stand by and allow bullying like that to happen. Am I the asshole? Oh my god. They both <laughs> suck. <laughs> These kids have too much internet. <laughs> I think an uncle should step in regardless when they're fighting. You're in, you are in an adult. It just is a little weird. Considering, like, you know, because the parents are like, don't say, like, don't fight back. But that was a good point. Like, but, like, she said some f***ed up shit, too. What do you mean? I mean, bullying is not okay. It's just, after a certain point, when do you have to... I feel like this is past the point when they should have stopped it. Not the asshole. A thousand percent not the asshole. This is cruel. These girls are teenagers and they're pitted against each other by fate. Adults that have are not their direct parent absolutely should not intervene because of how deeply personal this is. I agree to that. But then to turn it around and blame you for adhering to their rules? No, that's not fair. Their situation is too specific, too sensitive to expect you to guess how to respond. You did the very best you could in this no-win situation. Both girls are behaving like teenage girls will. I don't think that can be helped. In my opinion, your brother and his wife are huge assholes here. Follow our commands, but also read our minds and adjust accordingly. As an uncle, you can't just say nothing. Don't be a little like. I mean, it's just like if you see it happening to both of these kids, it's just like don't do that. And then especially like taunting immediately after, like if the dad did that speech, you know, he like the dad did the speech and he didn't think that that would be one of the outcomes. I feel like when you become a parent, you do need to think about like your kids a little bit more. Even though I get it, he's getting a promotion. It's very exciting. All of his friends are over and stuff, but. There is a little bit of a bigger issue here. 